Mara. So for this week's video, we're going to talk about how I edit my YouTube videos. Before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to me and click the bell button beside it to be notified whenever I post a new video. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. So first, I'm going to talk about my equipment and the camera that I am using right now is the Fujifilm X820 and I am using the tripod that I got it with and then I have my ring light and then as a camera sometimes I use my iPhone 11 when I just need to quickly film something like for example yung Sunglow review ko last week yung mga flat lay ng mga products dun sa video na yun what I used to film that is my iPhone 11 and then next I am using the app on my phone which is yung Fujifilm cam remote app sometimes I use that app to serve as my monitor my live view shooting siya on the app and also you can transfer videos and pictures from your cam straight to your phone and next is my background so this is just a wallpaper so I bought this wallpaper from Divisoria and nilagyan ko lang siya ng fake leaves sa gilid with everything will be linked down below kung gusto nyong bilhin yan so my laptop is this 13 inch MacBook Pro this is just what it looks like and guys yung editing software ko naman is yung final Final Cut Pro X. Hi, this is me currently editing at Final Cut Pro X and I love it so much. Video on medyo pricey siya. You can use their Final Cut Pro trial for 90 days. Ililink ko yun down below para malaman mo kung gusto mo talaga siyang bilhin or hindi or kaya mo bang gamitin yung app. Pero there are other editing softwares that you can use. Meron din libre sa MacBook which is yung iMovie and sobrang user friendly niya or beginner friendly niya kasi sobrang basic lang ng mga fonts and transitions and feeling ko kahit hindi ka mag-aral ng tutorial about iMovie magagamit mo yung iMovie and ayun, what I like about Final Cut Pro X it's that it's user friendly, beginner friendly but it is also very professional so now guys, we're moving to my editing process and first in my editing process is yung rough cut or yung initial cut so this is usually where I cut yung mga dead air yung mga awkward na parts ng mga video ko o kaya yung mga pangit yung pagkakasalita ko tapos inuulit-ulit ko siya ganun Hey guys, it's me Mars! Hey guys, it's me Mars! Hey guys, it's me Mars! Doon ko kinakot and usually in this rough cut portion ng editing process ko wala pa akong nilalagay na transitions or titles or anything special like sound effects, music so I like doing this first because alam ko na yung flow ng video and then panangalawa guys is yung theme or yung aesthetic so, dito na nakapaloob kung ano yung idea mo for that video. So, usually yung mga theme ko for every video is retro, classy, girly, na parang pastel vibes. I usually get my inspirations from some YouTubers, Chelsea Valencia, um, Bianca Gan, I Am Kareno, The Lineup to the Nines. Ashley Garcia and Best Dress. Sila yung pinaka parang may retro vibes, may aesthetic vibes, may girly vibes and I really like their kind of videos. So it's okay to take inspirations from their videos but of course, you have to have your unique twist to it. So guys, example, yung dress up video ko na lookbook I got that idea from Ashley Garcia and the lineup. So sa kanila ko nakuha yung idea na dress up and parang game siya and I made like a twist to it and if you want those kind of videos as well you can check out their YouTube channels ang gaganda kasi talaga ng mga aesthetic nila and yun yung gusto ko talagang ma-achieve and then third is this is where I add my effects, my transitions my fonts, my titles and everything. So ito na yung part na isa-scan ko yung video and then pag may funny part lalagyan ko ng tawa ng sound effect and then this is where I put yung music na napili ko. So, dito ko na nilalagay yung parang mga effects or kaya yung mga nagpapaganda ng video. So guys, second to the last step is yung paggawa ko ng intro. Second to the last step ko to ginagawa kasi gusto ko tapos na yung buong video tsaka ako gagawin yung intro. Kasi dun ko na-generate yung parang idea ko kung ano 
ilalagay ko sa intro. And yung mga videos ko sa intro, I get it from the best part ng aking video. So sabi nga nila, yung first 10 seconds is yung pinakamahalaga sa iyong video. Kasi ito yung instance na magkiklik yung viewer or magkiklik out sila. And then last step is my last checking or yung checking. So usually, I check it first. And then, pinapacheck ko yung video ko kay mama. Kasi parang makikita niya yung video ko through a different like perspective. Para siyang viewer ko talaga. Siya yung nagche-check ng video ko bago ko in-upload. So usually, nagsasuggest siya ng mga dapat kong i-add, dapat kong i-cut pa and stuff. So maganda na may taga-check din kayong ganon kung may kakilala kayo na kasama niyo sa bahay. And alam mo magbibigay siya ng magandang opinion. Iba yung mata nila sa mata mo. Kung baga sila, yung mata nila is as a viewer. And now guys is the most exciting part which is sasabihin ko sa inyo ano yung usual Usually, ginagamit kong fonts, transitions, sound effects, music, and everything. So, first, we're going to start with font. Yung usual hover titles ko is yung Helvetica Bold of Light. And then, yung usual kong nahihiligan ngayon is yung Prima and yung Sophia Margan. I forgot about Futura Medium Italic with Tracking and Drop Shadow. So, if you don't know what tracking is, it is how close or how far the letters are to each other. Kukuha ko yun sa www.dafont.com So now guys, I'm going to the usual transitions that I use. And first, yung usual transitions na ginagamit ko is dalawa, which is yung fade to color and yung slide. So now guys, yung slide effect, nilalagyan ko siya ng parang swoosh sound effect kasi mas nagbibigay siya ng parang character yung sa transition or something. And then yung mga retro transitions ko na ginagamit pag parang gusto ko ng retro vibes is this one and then this one and then this one. And guys, also, I just found out about this transition. So, parang manual transition siya. I just cut a portion of yung first video. And then, I cut a portion of the other video. And then, I go to effects ng final cut. And then, I choose yung bad TV effect. And then, it looks like parang nag-static lang siya. And then, for effects, of course, we have here. So, ito yung pang green screen. And then, for that retro vibes, again, we have prism, shape mask, frame, and then camcorder, and then my favorite, which is yung bad TV. And then also nga pala, um, dati pa ako nagtataka kung paano ginagawa ng mga YouTubers yung parang flowy effect ng mga titles. So, ang gagawin lang pala dun is you insert your title, tapos gamitin nyo yung font na gusto nyo magpo-flow kahit ano, pero usually ang ginagamit dun yung mga retro vibe na mga um, font. And then, you insert yung effect na underwater. And then now, guys, for titles. So, sa titles, ang ginagamit ko lang is of course yung basic title and yung typewriter. And yung typewriter, I use it to have a more like aesthetic feel to the video. And then, nilalagyan ko siya ng parang typewriter sound effect para mukha talaga nagtatype yung video. And next, we have songs. And this is a very important part of your editing as well. Ito rin yung nagbibigay ng vibes dun sa video mo. For example, yung lookbook ko nga na parang nostalgic. Nilagyan ko siya ng parang 8-bit na sound effects. Sometimes I search for songs na magbabagay dun sa video ko, pero I usually have my usual background music like this one. Usually dati, nung bago ako mag-edit, lagi ako nagsesearch ng aesthetic background music, no copyright. Lagi yan yung sinesearch ko sa YouTube, that's din na-download ko lang siya through ytmp3.com parang ganon. Pero suddenly, lagi ako naka-copyright pa rin kahit sinasabi nilang no copyright daw yung mga songs na yun. And then recently, I found out about hellothematic.com So, ito yung parang website na nagbibigay ng free, non-copyrighted songs sa mga creators. Lahat ng songs doon sa hellothematic.com is puro libre. Libre yung i-download. Basta, lalagay mo lang yung credits sa description box mo para hindi ka ma-copyright. And then also, I found out about the audio library dash music for content creators na channels. I don't search na sa YouTube na mga non-copyrighted songs. 
Kasi sobrang unsafe niya na guys. Minsan nakaka-copyright ako kahit sinabi nila non-copyrighted yun. So now guys, I'm going to talk about my usual sound effects. And ang usual na ginagamit kong sound effect is this one. Battle cork. And then we have this whoosh. So if ever naman may mga funny parts yung video ko, nilalagyan ko siya ng cartoon chipmunk. And then yung comedy boy. And then lastly, yung cartoon string break. And then, usually then, yung music na nilalagay ko pag parang funny yung video is yung fluffing a duck. And then, of course, ito yung pinaka parang siguro curious kayo. Is saan ko ginagawa yung mga katulad nito? Yan. So, I do it in canva.com. So, kung napansin nyo naman, bago na yung intro and outro ko, dun ko lang ginawa yun. So, what I like about Canva is that they have free templates which you can use. So, if you don't like editing or kaya hindi kayo mahilig dun sa mga editing, meron din kayo masi-search sa YouTube na parang aesthetic overlays or aesthetic templates. And then, sometimes I also search sa Google or sa Pinterest ng certain templates like kung Kunwari dun sa Asian Baby Girl video ko, meron yung film template. So, nakuha ko yon sa Pinterest. So, usually makakahanap din kayo ng mga ganong aesthetically pleasing sa Pinterest. And then sometimes, if I can't find, tapos may nahanap ako pero hindi transparent or hindi PNG yung background niya, I manually take off the background using this app, Photo Wizard. So, yan yung app sa iPhone. So, dyan ko tinatanggal yung mga background. And then, i-insert ko na siya here. Magamit ko na siya sa video ko. So, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys like this video and naging informative siya sa inyo. If you have other questions for me, just leave them down below and I would gladly answer them. Stay safe, everyone. Always wash your hands. And, ayun, guys, I will see you the next video. Bye-bye!